I don't think they're that dangerous to the user as people make them out to be. No, usually it's just kind of a meme. Once you get used to them, at least. I mean, it's no different than like... Nunchucks in a street fight! Question mark, question mark, question mark. Our friend Hayden wants to know. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. No, right? Totally no. I kind of... I don't think it's terrible. One of the issues with the nunchucks, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of nunchucks. And I know what you're going to say. It was invented in an ancient Okinawa. They used to, like, uh, make, you know, rice with it or whatever the hell that you think these things are for or whatever story. Hayden, don't listen to these goofballs. Both you and I know that flails have been used by every civilization since the dawn of mankind for warfare. And that's exactly what a nunchuck is. It's a flail. But this thing right here is actually something I brought back from Okinawa, the birthplace of karate, and it's known as a muge nunchaku in Japanese. Now, this is supposed to sit on the face of a horse. So what the Okinawans did was they repurposed it to use it as a flail to defend themselves because they didn't always have access to sophisticated weaponry. And this is just one such example. So it was not used to harvest rice which is what a lot of people actually think. Now back to you, Sensei. All right, so that's what the nunchuck was, but what is the nunchuck now? It's a pop culture thing. Yeah. They're cool. They look cool. They make all kinds of nunchucks, rope. Uh, this kind of looks, anyway. Uh, I've got these because they look the most like Michelangelo's. And since Michelangelo, the nunchuck has sort of fallen out of favor because there's people kind of, it's not realistic. Yeah. Because this is not a realistic weapon. You couldn't really use it. You're going to hurt yourself. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I kind of think it's, I don't think it's the greatest weapon ever, but I think it's more realistic than people give it credit for. The ever-present nunchuck gag is that the guy is doing the big fancy nunchuck thing, hits himself with it in the back of the head, or oftentimes in, you know, the whoop, in the groin. Diamond MMA guard, right? <laughs> but, so yeah, you hit yourself with it. Yeah. Let's look at this. If I'm showing off with it and I suck at showing off, like, yeah. like we're, we're right. invariably dropping these things and hurting each other yeah. while we're doing this. Yeah, right. Right? But if I'm hitting a person, mm -hmm. I've got a cock back, similar baton, similar to stinger whip, any, you know, sometimes an edge weapon from this position, yeah. right, for maximum, mm -hmm. right? When am I hitting myself with it? I think what happens is people hit the bag and they see it pop back Yeah. when they, they hit the bag. Because they stop themselves short. Yeah. And then squirrely stuff happens. They try to treat it like a stick. They treat it like an untrained person with it. Because with the stick, you're supposed to... They do like that. They do this. With the sword and with the stick, you're supposed to follow through. You know what I mean? I don't hate it. Now, uh, I'll be it. I don't love it either. Because one of my requirements for a self-defense weapon uh -huh. is I think it should be one-handed. Uh, I think it should do damage to a person even if they block it against defensive wounds. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I think for it to be a great self-defense weapon, even if it hits me here, yeah. it should do disabling damage. Sure. Machete, great. Yeah. Hammer, great. Yeah. Stick, I, I'm not a crazy, that's why I'm not a fan of the baton. Cheese, great. What? Anyway, Jeez, uh, that's, that's a terrible joke. It was so cheesy. When a stick or a nunchuck hits the... It's not your joke. <laughs> Good one. If we're talking like a non-committal attacker, and I'm just sort of giving you a problem, and I'm like, hey, you know? And you pull that out, and I go like this, and he hits me in the arm, or hand, or whatever, I might go like, ouch, whoa. Yeah. The problem with it is if I am a committed attacker, mm -hmm. and you hit my arm hand, Right, we're still going to fight, which is true for all weapons. Yeah. Why this is a little worse than some of the other weapons in close, I think, is because of the ease with which a person can take it away from you. Mm. Or, or render it or useless. It can get wrapped. Yeah, it, it becomes useless in a tangle. Now, if you have one and I have one, people are going to be like, oh, but I know all these, stop, stop, stop. I, can, I can wrist lock you and, you know, do, 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 you know. If this wraps around his arm or he reaches out or like, uh, you know, goes to inter like how you baseball bat defense, like you yeah. enter, boom, right? this is probably not going to be real useful. It's going to become useless between us or worse, a liability. Yeah. I do think that that's true. Yeah. But the idea that it's immediately going to, I'm going to hit myself in the nuts or the 
Yeah, right. The back of my head instantly, yeah. like in the movies, that's not how it works. Right. Whoosh. Right? Whoa, like people are gonna tell me, like I can do all this stuff with it. You know? Yeah. But like, that's not really how fights work. They're ugly and they're mean and we swing them like crazy. But, little kid. <laughs> to be fair, I think that the wrapping, like the wrapping can be good or bad. It's yeah. cool because if I can get it around and get yeah, my ahead, hand past your hand, yeah. I'm gonna have Or even at the chain. Or even at the chain, sure. Boom. It still hits you. Yeah. Which gives me a little more reach. But once that like once your bubble is penetrated. Yeah. Which that's that's true for every weapon. Everything. Yeah, right. Some weapons are better on the inside than that. Yeah. Uh, now if you've devoted your whole life to being awesome on the inside with nunchucks. With nunchucks. Right? Yeah, right. Chances are you didn't learn how to sprawl or box, or plum in that time. Yeah. You, so you, your time would have been better spent doing something else. I'm not saying it's impossible to do that. Right. A lot of people would say, oh, th this is not how you use them, you use them like this, yeah. or you use them like this. Like people will always, whenever you, whenever you like debunk something, yeah. they would say, no, that's not what I meant. Yeah, right. The real way you use it this. Yeah. I think that there's literally limitless ways you could say that you yeah. use these. And, and this makes it not a Kubaton, but a Tubaton. That wasn't bad. Thank that was you. actually pretty good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I just don't want to like it. Have you ever seen it used? Ever seen? Have I ever, have I ever used that jacks? Or seen them used? Street fight, real fight, anything? There was the felony fights. Yeah, they were swinging each other for a little bit, and then they started wrestling. Yeah. I think, I think That's from That's probably a, how it would look anyway. Because you get two in, and then you're like, okay. Because another, another requirement for me for self-defense weapons, I don't have to change much about what I would normally do. So if I'm holding it like this, and we end up wrestling, I can still pummel, right? And maybe, maybe I get a, we'll do a takedown, right? I get a takedown, down he goes, right? If I get on top, and I've got these, this is not terrible. I mean, this sucks, yeah. like, this sucks for you, but you could still hit like this, yeah. and you can hit like, like hit the, right, that, and it's not terrible, and you don't have the greatest grip and all that, I get all that, but what I'm saying is like, it's compact enough that you could wrestle with it, right? Like if we needed to wrestle and I need to get underhooks or, or whatever like this. Ooh, what you know about this, boy? Boom! Actually, let's do an online course. <laughs> None. Nunchucks for the street. Yeah. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark. <laughs> so Hayden, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. We really appreciate you. I think if you have fun practicing it, mm -hmm. if they're fun, yep. go for it. Yep. And I wouldn't worry too much about the rest. Yeah. If you if you practice kata for competition with these, I think it would be a fun experiment for you to try out the moves that you do in the kata on a bat or a tree or something. Every time I can't do that one. You need to get McDojo life in here. That dude can work he, some chucks. He can can. He can can. He can can. <laughs> he can can do whatever he puts his mind to. Yeah, double double words in my verse flow like a damn. Uh. What are you trying to do? Oh, just, just a, a single Bruce, strike? Bruce Lee. Yeah. Ooh, that would suck. suck. That would hurt. Well, and it's start. Ooh, and it's startling. I almost hit myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, because you right, are popping it. Yeah, right. And stop. Right. You're popping and stopping. You know, you're popping in. Because it, it's hard to gauge distance with stuff like this. Like, so you need practice. You need practice. Now, obviously. Somebody's be like, get rid of this dude says don't carry a knife, now he says do carry nunchucks. Not saying that. I'm saying that the reasons that most people will immediately say that these are no good are not thought out. I like the idea this just usually is a thought experiment. Yeah. Just as a, another way to question what you already think about martial arts. I, don't, I would not advocate carrying nunchucks for self-defense. Uh, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Yeah, you gotta hit the pressure points. Yeah. <laughs> meridian liver six and uh, pancreas meridian two and uh, misaligned as chakras and disrupt his oodle loops and everything, mm -hmm. right? But I think from a, a control standpoint, this is not bad. And actually, you know, there's terrible. police departments that used to issue these things. Did they really? Yeah. I actually know a cop that he, he, uh, he got out on a traffic stop back when they used to have these. And he pulled out his nunchucks and he started working them nunchucks. There's three dudes and they beat the shit out of him. Ooh. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, <laughs> but I think one on one, squared up. And then you've got the intimidational factors. Yeah.
Right, yeah. If I, if I see you with nunchucks, I'm immediately going to be like, okay, this guy doesn't care about anything. Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't care. 